Hello. 15. That wasn't just a lucky swipe, was it? I mean, that's Ruba. This is how he hits his forehands. He, even on defense, you saw that he can still get some pace. That was something that shouldn't discourage Tiafo from continuing, however, to go up and after. Attack second serves. Don't want to just get in a slug fest with Ruba. That's the shot that's interesting to me for Rubla because usually when you're pulled out of the court, you want to hit it with a little bit of heaviness and height to give yourself time to get back. Not Rubla. He's just going to just another mighty cut. This is another green light shot. <laughs> Clearly going into the Rubla forehand yeah. in this opening game. 15, 30. 30. Oh. That's always a dangerous approach shot, the one that Tiafo was just attempting. Inside in approach shot to a forehand. If your opponent gets there, cross court pass is fairly open. Oh. So it makes you have the feeling of I better hit a clean winner approach. the story on Francis Chiapos. He starts watching these kids playing at the Junior Tennis Champion Center, and he just falls in love with with the game. But he doesn't have he doesn't have clothing. He doesn't have shoes. He doesn't have rackets. So he would just borrow rackets, borrow clothing from the lost and found, borrow demo rackets, find a racket that someone had thrown away, and go up against the wall at the at the center and just teach himself his strokes. And that's why, if you look at his strokes, they're kind of homemade. Because with every racket, whether it was tight or loose or lively or whatever, he had to change his strokes. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And now, of course, he's got a huge Yonex contract for his racket. He's got a big Nike contract. He's got a terrific coach. Oh. He's got real momentum. It's hard to unlearn strokes that you've taught yourself. All that reverse engineering it's not easy. There's some serious ball striking going on right now, right out of the gate for these two. There's no sign of nerves. Nine of these players obviously have been to a semifinal in a major, so both of them trying to do something for the first time. this match wears on and gets to those sort of important moments, you got to believe one edge that Francis has is the crowd. The crowd will be here to help. Fourteen. 
two sort of nothing second serves in Rublev. Two bad errors as you get a look at Wayne Ferreira in the middle front. Oh. He's part of Tiafo's team now, and he's done a lot to make Francis much more disciplined, much more professional. Oh. And treat tennis like a business. Blair Henley, my friend, interviewed him last year, and he explained how he had to get Francis to stop playing music, you know, being on the phone, all that kind of stuff. You know, even when he was training in the gym, I wanted him to be much more businesslike. Hard for to do that to a young kid like Francis. Francis, you know, obviously when he beat Nadal the other day, Jerry, he's getting text messages from everybody. He got he got a Twitter from LeBron James. That's awesome. A little King. I mean, he said, I was thinking about playing it cool and not responding for a couple of hours, but then he caved in. Of course he was going to respond to LeBron James congratulating him. <laughs> Actually, that would have been awesome if he made him wait a little. First tech should have been, sorry, LeBron, I'm busy. I'll get back to you soon. <laughs> I got, I, I'm playing here. I, <laughs> so both players with just a little bit of angst in their first service game. Both hold serve, dropping a couple of points. Oh. Fairly close, so. And the, the advantage Tiafo has is he can finish at the net, whereas Rublev sort of just stays in his little area and swings as hard as he can and doesn't miss a whole lot. So if Tiafo can sort of blunt some of that power and find a way in. And attack second serves like that. That's his avenue for a win. Nice That's start in this game. Great well, recognition there, Jimmy. Yeah. It, again, Rublev's going to have to come out of his comfort zone on second serve. If Tiafo's going to do that, Rublev's happy to just kick every second serve in. But if Tiafo's going to stand that far in, and he is going to make backhand returns, Tiafo. Rublev's going to have to either hard to the body or serve some second serves to the forehand, which he's not that comfortable doing that. Or make a whole bunch of first serves. That's you. Third caught toss in this game. It's a starting further back here. Oh, I like the play, but then came charging forward. He was going to hit and come in. Oh. 
This match just underway, and there's a lot of movement. I wonder if the chair is going to ask him to stop that. Oh. Tiafa was the one under pressure. You can see Rublev never backs up. But that forehand cross court set up finally a chance for Tiafo to get in control of the rally, and he did it beautifully. Rublev is one of the few guys I've seen that sort of, even when he's defending, he does it from the baseline almost. It's his twin brother in the orange cap next to his longtime girlfriend. So a well-played opening first four games. No breaks a serve. Vicente, the coach for Rublev, was on the left in that picture. Spanish coach, former player. That might be a great play for Tiafo if he can manage to force Rublev up to the net because that was some of the worst net coverage I think I've ever seen as far as leaving the obvious shot with as much opening as you can possibly have. So maybe Tiafo incorporates some sort of short slices. That play I love for Tiafo. I think that should happen all day. There's another look at Fernando Vicente in the black hat. serve of the day so far, 126 miles an hour. That's the one thing he, he's gotten himself under duress in each of his service games, but he served his way out. Three, 
82 for seven. I'm serving this opening set, this quarterfinal Thank match. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Players are ready. At the U.S. Open. The voices are carrying to court. Thank you. This has been historically the round where Rublev has been stopped. Francis Tiafos, the first ever Grand Slam semi. So at some point, Tiafo is going to have to start making a few first serves as he's serving at 33% so far. He's done a great job winning the second serve points, but boy, you're under duress against Rublev having to win those type of rallies. He's done it so far, six of eight. That was just the second point he's lost on his second serve. But you can see how much easier that would be. A couple of those, times. yeah, a couple of those a game, and then you're talking about a real opportunity if you're Tiafo. But it's interesting; these each of these players have sort of one part of their game that that can struggle at times. For Tiafo, it's the forehand. As good as the forehand is, and how aggressive he can hit it, how big he can hit it. That's the side because it's a little convoluted, the things that are happening behind him in the backswing. Occasionally under pressure, he can miss hit that shot. And for Rublev, really, it's the second serve where you can get to him, where you can attack. So far, Rublev's managed to do a pretty good job making first serves at the right times. And so far, Tiafo's forehand's been fine. Been actually excellent. Oh. Ooh, 136 on that bomb. I actually like the shot from Tiafa. I think he should use, back he should use that short slice cross court. It's a delicate shot, however, that you might miss because it can't float, so you can't clear the net much on that, or it'll be a sitter for Rublev. I like that after having this 40-15 lead and getting back to Deuce, Francis went to the towel, sort of regroup, get his concentration and mind back, and get ready for this point. Close that Rublev thinks it's out. Thank you. Juice. 
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That's a good serve. Danny just needs. I to see him. He needs that first serve percentage to be a, at least closing in on 60%. He's at 42%, so it, his serve games have been fraught. Yeah, just he's had to play great points. Yes. He's managed to do it. This is the first game where he's struggling to get across the finish line. He's had a lot of game points, but again, you're faced with right away off your second serve sort of a deep, hard ground stroke, and yes. then you're going to get nothing but deep, hard ground strokes the rest of the rally. Tiafo sort of trying to create openings off of that shot isn't so easy. He's managed to do it. He didn't get away with that 79 mile an hour second serve though. I mean, again, he'd have to start a point and be a little on the defensive and then get back in and he's done that well so far, but that you can't make a living with that. Tiafo with a great serve. There's that shot you like, Jimmy. I do. Ooh. That was almost a finishing blow. As Rublev got up to it quickly, but again, I don't I don't think Rublev. <laughs> Couple big serves when he's needed. That was a huge game for Tiafo and it's brought the crowd into it as well. I don't think Rublev has what I would call intangibles. Interesting. Which is having to shots that you don't normally see or don't often see coming up with something with just your hands at the last feel fraction it. of a moment. Yes. Yes. He's more of a I'm here. I hit. I'm going to hit very hard. I'm going to hit. That's your idea of what Russian sounds like. I mean, it's just my idea of what <laughs> Rublev yeah. sort of is when yes. I watch him play. No, I, I know what you're saying. He wants one speed, you know, basically. He's going to hit one speed for right. sure. And right. it's it's a rally ball. Right. If you rally with Rublev, shake his hand and say congratulations. So for Tiafo, he's got to. <laughs> Tiafo does have all the intangibles, all the little things. He does really well. And he's got an imagination. He does. He does all those things really well. And it's just almost maybe because he has all those options, he sometimes will make some errors or choose the wrong one. It's going to be hard for Rublev to continue serves. He's just reaching back and crushing the serve, about as big as he can hit it, and he's, he's making a pretty good percentage of them right now. And that's continuing. His second ace. That's what Tiafo's got. Forty fifteen. See, that was a perfect example of Rublev. He had a good first serve, but Tiafo guessed right, and Rublev wasn't really in position to take a full cut, but that's what I do. I hit it as hard as I can. But an easier hold for Rublev than Tiafo's last service Rublev game. Please. Still on serve in the first. Got new balls in his hands.
That he... I'm really yeah. surprised that Rublev backed up for a 76 mile an hour second serve. But that's what he did, and from back there, throwing it into the service line isn't going to get it done. If you're going to back up, you got to hit it a little higher okay. and a little deeper, and I don't think Rublev hits that shot. He's back there again. Oh. That's what you do to it. That was 15. an 82 mile an hour second serve, but that's what you do to Tiafo's second serve right now. He's just absolutely spinning in a nothingness. Second serve. Rublev intelligently steps up that time. I like the showmanship. I like that he's having fun. I love this shot. I mean, this was an amazing shot because that was a well-struck pass down low with pace. He took all of it off. Yeah. Perfect touch. Celebrate that for a minute, but then immediately get your mind back to the task at hand, especially at four all. Wait, at some point I think. Fifteen love. If I'm playing Rublev right now and he's serving this well, I change my court position for the return. It looks like Francis just did it. Look at that. Yep. He's way back by the fence. Exactly. You got to give him a different look to make them miss a couple of serves. Well done by Francis. Second serve. Open app. And you get all kinds of players' highlights and information, latest scores. Yeah, I like Tiafo staying back again. Normally, when you're this far back and he's choosing to return, you'll get a wide serve. That's e fifteen. But if you're that far back and you get the wide serve, that's the one where you got to put it up with some height and some spin and some depth and give yourself time to reposition. He hit that one too hard. Oh. has not yet gotten a break point. Game. That's a nice way to end that one. A 129, another ace for Ruben. Ruben leads five His against fifth. the for set. serving at 4-5. 15 love. Oh. 
shown in this match. This is pressure moments now serving to stay in a set. Tequila. Tiafo seemingly pretty calm with that drop shot. Great get from Rublev to force Francis to hit one more shot, but it was a pretty simple one. Three. Three. 135. That one was interesting because the toss was actually further to the right. Makes you think slider slice. Oh. He flapped the T. Final. Five against all fissions. up there too. Yeah. He's got such great instincts. <laughs> Tiafo at the net and feel. But I'm also at that point impressed me from both players because I couldn't believe Rublev got to the first drop shot. He's got to know these things are coming at him now, right? He does. <laughs> oh. Jaffo letting you know that that one skidded, but that was also supposed to skid a little bit because Rublev put some slice on that second serve, didn't hit the kick. Had a love 30 earlier in this set, and Rublev came up with a couple of big serves. Just showed his coach again, Fernando Vicente. He's spent a lot of time in Spain training Rublev. That's a good serve, and Vicente got as high as 29 in the world in the ATP rankings. Thank you. Without huge weapons. So that gives you an idea that that kind of player is usually someone that's thinking pretty well. <laughs> yeah. Well, 30 all second serve. Serious opportunity. <laughs> Jeff bites right into it. Tiafo yeah, thought he had missed that return. He looked like he was coming into the net and then changed his mind. Whatever happened, it was good enough, and he's got a break chance. This is his first break point. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Players already. See the look on Francis's face because he knows he had the guy up where he's not that comfortable. 
make a good cross-court low pass, but it was just too low. Let's see if Rublev can come up with that volley. Oh. Two straight opportunities for Tiafo. Guess right on the pass. Level six, At the end of this set, when we come back. Tiafo much busier at the net so far. He's been successful, 10 of 14 Please from up there. quickly, thank you. Rublev yeah. has only been in four times and has won already, thank two you. of those. And all four times, he was forced into the net. It wasn't his idea. No. <laughs> Short balls from Tiafo. Here we go, 5 6, Irvin to stay in the set. 15 up. Fourth ace. Thirty on. So, that off. Yeah, remember the couple of spots where there's no real obvious weaknesses with either of these guys. But under pressure, Tiapo's forehand is a side that can wander. It just wandered there. Let's. Fisher. 
That's, I think, been the difference in this tournament for Tiafo. When he has hit a shot that he needs to regroup, he goes and regroups. He gets to his towel, resets. Oh! for Andre Rublev. Got to be a little careful hitting back. He had a nice backhand down the line that point, Tiafo, but it's the shot that got him in trouble. He's behind the rest of the time. Had a break chance. In Rublev's last service game didn't convert. That was always going to make this game difficult. a whole lot of blue, I don't think. It was mostly some white on that forehand just off the line. Forehand landing in at 95 miles an hour and saves a set point. Ace number six. Can't ask for any better than that. <laughs> Starting the set with a tie break. Tiafo is 4 0 in tie breaks. Thank you. Let's open this year so far. Please, ladies and gentlemen. this 83 mile an hour serve. And again, that's sort of what I was saying. The weakness for Rublev is second serve. And it'll show up under pressure. That second serve sat there beautifully. Oh. Rublev could do the same to, Pi to Tiafo's second serve, by the way. But he's choosing to stay back and just start the point. Yeah, yeah, but why not? If the guy's showing you, I'm not going to do anything but exactly. start the rally, fine. Just throw it in there. Tiafo's serving at 48%, and Rublev has not yet taken advantage of that. Oh! Ooh, that seemed huge, but radar gun says only 131. <laughs> Seems to think that missed. I mean, it, if it was good, it just caught a little piece. We'll take a look. 
It just caught a little piece. Look, I think the reason Rublev's not attacking second serve is he thinks he should be out rallying Tiafa once the point starts. Oh. But this is a bit of an improved Tiafo from what he's seen in the past. I told you I like that play, even though executed poorly that time from Tiafo. Rublev just doesn't Tiafo. spend any time in that area of the court. He not comfortable once he gets up there. Three, two, Tiafo. That was actually really unlucky by Tiafo because he hit a beauty of a return and he realized, oh, that's going to do some damage. I'm going to come running in. And then the top of the tape clipped it. It turned into a sitter. Yeah, he was already committed to coming he was. in. Though. Just imitating Tiafo's forehand. I think so. Four, That's two. Like. Yeah. Tiafo. Let's switch ends. I think he was saying, how can he <laughs> control the forehand with that little move at the backswing with his wrist? The flying elbow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Two. That's two massive forehands from about head height. One on break point and that one that just caught little pieces of the line. Strange. You don't see that very often, and it, he's already celebrating. And when it left Rublev's racket, I thought that's got a chance. That's still a couple more set points, a few more set points. Two of them on his own serve, so you got to shake that one off. Thank you. That does it. 130. Side pocket. One set to the Francis Tiapo. Seven games to six. One set to the good. Tiapo leads by one set to the good. 130 in the quarter to finish off the set. And uh, it's enough to get Rublev to say, uh, I want to go 
to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Hello, hello. When these two played last year in that five setter, second serve points one were 43% for both of them. Tiafo hit a lot of second serves in that set. And one more than half of them. I don't know if he'll continue being able to stay at that level, but if he does, he'll, he'll be the guy that wins his match in the end. He was the better player in set one. And even though he had to save a set point at 5-6, and he did it by about a half an inch. Serving at 50% is Tiafo. And getting away with some yeah, attackable so second serve. So He's just spinning in that second serve with almost nothing on it. But Jimmy, you're so right when you say, unlike Rublev, Tiafo likes playing from every part of this court. Yes. Every part. And that's not, not true of the young Russian. No, and that's the advantage. Tiafo has, but I think sometimes players that can do so many things, it takes them a little longer to put it all together. So, I don't know, even Federer. You knew about Federer when he was 18. He beat Sampras, but it still took him a couple more years. Figure out how to use his options? Yes. Yeah, kind of. Whereas Nadal, you knew what Nadal was going <laughs> to do. I'm going to hit four hands and You'll time. never see my backhand again the rest of the rally once I get a, my strings on one. So, Rublev, the world's shortest bathroom break to where Tiafa wasn't ready. <laughs> it called time. He's got to get out there to serve first in the second set. Second set. Tiafa the serve. ninth seed. He took out the seven seed Cam Nori. Thank you, ladies Tiafo, and gentlemen. The 22nd Thank seed. Thank you. Players are ready to play. He took out Rafa Nadal in the last round. Start of the second. Tiafo goes first. 15 left. Seven days. And this is also an important moment for Tiafo in that. He saved a set point and he won a very tight first set. Don't have that sort of, thank goodness I got through that first set moment that sometimes happens at the beginning of second sets. He's doing a great job here serving. Two first serves in, jumping out to 30 love. Amazing to me how Rublev, even on a low slice, he thinks I should smash this one. And usually a low slice, you got to get it up over the net and then have enough spin to bring it down. Oh. Oh. Race. Yeah, great first game for Tiafa after a tough set. Since he was a little boy, Vesa Ponka, uh, who's the sense. president of Maryland's Junior Tennis Champion Center, has known Francis Tiafo. He speaks about him with poetry. He says his love for the game is so deep and so pure. Some players love winning, some players love money, some players love traveling. He says Francis loves everything about this game. He even loves the smell of the new balls. <laughs> he loves how the ball sounds on the strings. He loves these things that actually are more important than money or that stuff. He plays the game for the right reasons. And he says, Nesaponka says, and none of us taught him that. It's just that tennis was his best friend, and he took care of his best friend. Isn't that pretty? That's awesome. Yeah. And by the way, I went to the JTCC. Francis was a little kid because my kids were young. And when I got done doing the clinic and things, my son and Francis we're out on the court hitting tennis balls, best of friends. It was, yeah. they, I don't know how they even started talking to each other. 
Fisov. But it was all revolving around tennis. Yes. It's a remarkable place. I've been there a bunch of times. 39. And he is a, 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 Francis has become such a hero to all the kids. I'm, I'm imagining that there's a whole bunch of kids at the tennis center right now watching him play. Next. There's a big old First sc room. big screen TV in that front room where you first walk in. And I've seen them watch tennis there. Oh. Love. His dad has gotten up. Waiting to get back in his chair. Oh. Game. Ah. Rublev. That's an easy hole to start things for Rublev. One all. One game all second serves. Fifteen Rublev after this point going on a scream fest as again the slice causes some problems for Rublev because he still swings as hard as he can and he doesn't recognize you got to lift it a little bit more and have some more spin. You would think with all the time he has spent practicing on clay in Spain that he'd know how to get the ball up and down more but he wants to go through it. Like that. Because he does that well. And that's, again, that's he's had nothing but 70 mile an hour second serves to deal with. And he's done that twice now that I can remember. He's won both points. Fifteen. Yeah. Two New balls, please. Ball change. Two leads by two games to one. Second set. I want it to love.
15 low. I actually love the point construction attempt from Tiafo. that point, the little slice short. Somehow Rublev was able to still run around that and hit a forehand. So Rublev ties it at two. These two have met one two another twice before, both times on hard courts. Rublev got him this year at Indian Wells. And last year at the U.S. Open, it was Tiafo who won 6-1 in the fifth in the third round. Fifteen love. been out here an hour and 11 13. minutes and he hasn't had sort of one moment really of looseness mm. giving away a couple of points in a row that kind of thing and when he has made a loose air he's gone to the towel regrouped this number nine in a row. TFO leads three games to two seconds. And by one set to left. Back live. And then Tiafo's won in this set on Rublev's serve. And it took him quite a few shots before he finally created enough of an opening. And then he backed way up. That coaxed a nice air out of the serve. Here's a chance this game. Oh. 15 on. It's interesting how the mind works when you've been holding serve so comfortably and then all of a sudden love 15 seems like you're in a little bit of trouble. But Tiafo missed that backhand down the line That's and 15. Rublev right back to work. Ace number nine for Andre Rublev.
30 all. That five setter these two played. Tiafo at the end of it had 24 aces. Rublev had 25. So these two do right now they're nine to eight. Good serve, but Tiafo guessed right. Almost had to hit a winner from that position in the court. Let's first serve. Second Dominating service game for Andre Rublev. I watched this guy play a lot. The happiest I ever saw him, Jimmy, was at the Tokyo Olympics playing mixed doubles with Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova, who is a terrific doubles player and was the boss of the team. And he was so happy when they won gold. Wait, did he? He served and stayed back, right? <laughs> yeah. Or, no, I think she was trying to get him get in. Get him in. As wow. I recall, yeah. She was trying to coax him in. He listened to everything she said. Fifteen, love. <laughs> Fernando Vicente, just a little wry smile on his face, said you got to... Make sure you don't let your charge see that oh. while he's yelling at you. Thirty long. Rafa Nadal in losing to Tiafo said how much Francis was able to rob him of time. Just spitting the ball back off of his shoe tops. Andy Roddick, the last American to reach the quarters here. The last American man to win a major. And Roddick made Anja Boer's day yesterday. She always loved the guy. Always said she was, he was the guy she admired most in the eight. He hung around and met her yesterday after she won her match <laughs> the other day. Boy, she was happy. Wow. Couldn't get tracked down that second forehand. 40-15. He always hits hard. That time it was, you know what? I'm tired of losing these rounds. I'm going to hit it harder. Come on. Ah. Yeah, this set as even Tiefel as the first. Tiafoe leads four, game to three, second set. And by one set to love. First set to Tiafo. Rublev serving at 3 4. This match has surprised me from the standpoint of. Love the team. I thought we'd have breaks of serve. We've only had a couple of break chances, yeah. much less. Having a break of serve. Fifteen. And it's not as though they're consistently bombing first serves, and they're both serving just over fifty percent first serve percentage. But for whatever reason, whoever serving is winning the rallies. Oh. 
15. It's amazing how, in some ways, today's players don't have a little bit of a split step. So when they come in, they just, they're coming in. And he couldn't change direction there because he guessed wrong. Forty fifteen. Game over. Four games all second set. Rublev's lost three points on his serve in this set. Tiafo's lost two. Fifteen love. That was a great adjustment from Tiafo off a ball that hits the top of the tape, goes a little bit deeper than he expected. Yeah, Rublev has started stepping up a little on second serve returns, and that time Tiafo hit an 88 mile an hour second serve because of it. They just showed the little device stuck to the net that calls lets. Say they both dropped just two points coming into this service game on serve? Yes, Tiafo dropped two and Rublev has he's been really struggling. He's dropped three. Tiafo's dropped two in this game alone. Yes, he has. Again, when you've been holding so comfortably, 30 all feels insurmountable almost. So get the sense Tiafo really could use a first serve here to bail him out. 34. It worked. 40, 30. <laughs> to the 137 today. He's consistently hitting first serves bigger than almost everybody else. Kyrgios was in the low 130s. 
Talking about big serves, there's a quick look at Andy Roddick. Three second serve points in this game. Tiafo has lost. Oh. Other race. Both players have been Our really Vontage. clutch with their first serve Tiafo. when they've needed it. Their percentages aren't particularly high, but they've come at the right times. Five against the four second sets and by one set to him. Andre Rublev down a set and now serving to stay in the second. This men's singles quarterfinals. Perfectly played point from Tiafo till the finishing shot. 15 love. He had room to zoom, going the other way. Yes, the safer way. Tiafo needed some first serves to get out of his last service game. I get the feeling Rublev's going to need the same. This set, he's serving at 48%. But he's, he can both, pop those in, too. Well, what's happening is both players, when they've needed a point and need a first serve, they've made a first serve. And not just spun them in. They've hit bombs. That? Yeah. 40, 50. Fourteen, thirteen. 
Lance is slightly further back. He's coaxing a T serve, I think. Didn't get one. Five games, all seconds left. This is Isner versus Opelka kind of <laughs> return point, at least, scoring. Not because it's the type of rallies. We're having points. We're having rallies. But it's just the You're servers. You're talking about return games. Yeah. The servers have only faced one break point, two break points, and virtually two sets. Next. First serve. Thirty love. that a little bit more often on the return games because he's in points and I think even if he doesn't hit a great one he's all over the next shot is it's been pretty consistent for Rublev to run up and just chip that down the line and Francis says here's some room go you can get me over here and then closes that gap in a hurry one hold a game away from a two sets leave in this men's quarterfinal. Tiffo leads six games to five. Tiffo's looking good. Acting like he belongs. And this full house agrees with him. Rublev has to hold serve to get this to a second tie break. Tiaf, I like the slice, but he's no longer hitting a backhand Rublev when there's a slice. He gets around it quickly and hits four hands. So Tiafa's got to go back to leaning on some of those backhands. Or get him out to the forehand first, maybe, and then find a way to hit the slice, something or even shorter. That's how he handled a 109 out wide. He struck it back at 92 miles an hour for the winner. Oh. 40 15. Fire! 
Good one. Into the tie break again. That first one went pretty quickly. Chiapo's way. 7-3 uh, tie, tie break. Tie break. This one will be interesting because Tiafo hasn't lost a tie break yet. 5-0 and oh now at the U.S. Open this year. Tiafo has won nine more points than Rublev, so I suppose he's had a little more pressure, but neither players have much pressure on their service games. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And it's sort of interesting, different pressure on each player here because you never want to fall behind. Two sets to love. Rublev's come back from that once. Tiafo never has. But the pressure that Tiafo's having is if he gets a lead in this tiebreak, he might start thinking, ooh, I can win. And you never want to go there. <laughs> In the first set tiebreak, Rublev, who served so well during the set, misses first serves in the tiebreak in the first set. Second set tiebreak, first serve that he had, missed the first serve. Oh. And did it again. Touch at the net from Francis Tiafo. Boy, he likes it up there, and he knows what to do up Three, there. Zero, Tiafo. I mean, that was amazing. <laughs> He's got such good feel and instincts. And he knows how to work the crowd as well. <laughs> That's... started yelling <laughs> almost as the ball was struck he knew it was past him another one Five. I'm 34 Tiafo what a difference in the tie break Tiafo makes first serves in the tie in both tie breaks Rublev doesn't and the tie breaks end up being so far at least Comfortable first Thank one. you, ladies and gentlemen. Five love lead. Thank the you. crowd is beside Please. themselves. So is Rublev. He does it again. Six love. One more point away from a two set lead. Zero TFM. <laughs> Trying to wipe the smile off his face, but he still wants all these fans to go nuts for him. Well, it was especially, I think, when he was walking by Rublev, the smile had started yeah. and he wanted to not show that off, so he almost couldn't help himself. Let's first serve. Rublev do it now. Why? 
that's his problem. All right, he's taking golf for the restroom again. I mean, the last time he got back in a minute and a half, it yeah. seemingly. All right, Jimmy, crunch these numbers for me. Well, 100% first serves one. That was 18 for 18 in the set. Second serve points one also remarkable. And 17 winners. Look, the whole story of both sets has been the servers have a decided edge. They've both been dominating. They don't lose many first serve points, either of them. And the other important storyline is Francis has played two terrific tiebreaks. Is when the tiebreak happens, yeah. Rublev starts missing first serves. And Tiafo does this, what you're about to see, to the second serve. Just mule kicks it back for a winner. And also he's managed to get up to the net. He's just he's done whatever he's wanted in the tiebreak. It's just during the set. He hasn't had the opportunity with that man. He's gotten second serves. It's just for whatever reason during the set he loses one or two of those second serve points, then a couple big first serves, and the game's over in a blink of an eye. They're feeling it just as Francis is. Hard to imagine him losing this match at this stage. Don't go there. Okay, sorry. That's, I that's, retract my statement. Yes, exactly. That's been retracted. <laughs> okay. Well, and after the eight and a half minute delay, Rublev hits both lines with that first delivery. Oh. Tiafa put the point together. So Rublev's just 15. hitting huge shots, and it takes four, five, six, seven, eight shots to get just a little opening. And when he does, Tiafo gets up to the net. Rublev hits the pass so hard, but Tiafo was able to take all the pace off. Just drop those volleys over beautifully. They're the kind of dump That's volleys amazing. you see on the grass at Wimbledon a lot. Yeah. It just dies on the blades. Tiafo has successfully done it all match long. He's going to have to figure something out in the deuce court because that wide serve is getting him way out. And then often Rublev will have a forehand with the next shot. And Tiafo's finding it difficult to defend that play. First game, third sets. We were missing one. 
one thing, if you were Rublev's coach, that you would tell him to do differently starting right now? Would be what return position? What should he? Yeah, no, that would be the first step is try to do a little bit more with second serves because you're getting 79, 78 mile an hour second serves to deal with. So, yeah, and you're getting them a lot. It. Yeah. Tiapo at 52% first serves. Oh. And when I say do something with him, it's not necessarily move up and hit a backhand return, but why not run around and crack a few forehands? He's backed up for this one. That wasn't a crack of the forehand. That was a run around and push it into the service line forehand. That's not going to be good enough. You know, all the ruckus in the crowd <laughs> help contribute to that double fault. But if you're going to have that happen, 40 love. Both double faults for Tiafa were at 40 love. And Rublev has not had one. Game Tiafa. One game all good time. ball because one of them went into the stands in that last game. There are all different states of where when you have to replace a ball, put it back in play from a brand new ball to a ball that's four games in. And you gotta find, yeah. You, you gotta, gotta find through. the right one, yeah. Oh! Oh boy, vulnerable moment that's right now. Good. Yeah, there we go. He's had the hang dog look. He realized it after that double fall, tried to get his feet moving. When he's been in trouble, the only couple of times that he has been, he's come up with big serves. Let's first serve. He does it again. 15, 13. That serve looked like it should have been wide. Instead, it's ace number 11. into that 76 mile an hour serve. Only the second break chance of the match. Another good serve when he needed it. And it's in that deuce court where Tiafo 
doesn't have a real good answer. Here's his his better chance in the ad court. Still we'll need to maybe guess on this first serve. Oh. That backhand had just a little bit extra. I make this up in the semis to it. <laughs> the play uh, from Tiafa, the short cross-court slice. I'm amazed again that Rublev can get to that with a forehand, but it leaves open a cross-court forehand pass. Francis has missed that a couple of times. Again, that serve out wide. And that time, Tiafa was waiting on it, but he's so far out of the court. If Rublev executes that, it's tough to combat. Had some hold. Rublev leads two games to one with it. TFO by two sets to them. Please find a seat quickly. Thank you. Actually, a much better return from Rublev that time. He he stepped around and ripped the forehand and actually had a good look at a couple more forehands, made the unforced errors, and that is what started the diatribe at his coach. Strings, the polyester string, mm -hmm. is not, it's not soft. <laughs> it's not the point. You want to be banging against your knee? And it looks to me like the left knee's got a little nick to it. I think that forehand is what Rublev thought in this match coming in. If I hit with enough pace to Tiafo's forehand, that backswing that he has is gonna break down, and it really has it. There's that bruising you were talking about, Jim. Just, just starting. He's 
Got some time left. Again, talking to his people, Ruba. I mean, can you possibly play your best tennis if you're this cranky, this he's, angry? Well, the thing is, he's often cranky like this. And then he lets it out, puts his head down, and goes in and tries to keep swinging away. Third double of the match, second of this set. Possibly because Rublev is actually taking a little bit more aggressive stance on the return. That time he was up closer, so Tiafo tried to go bigger. Next. Next. First easier than it was. Yes, he did. He cut the angle beautifully, but he still almost had to hit a winner from where he was in the court, and he did. Uh, Reminder, usopen.org on all that social media. Fifteen. I still can't believe we've played nearly two and a half sets and there hasn't been a break of serve between these guys. They both have great ground strokes. They both have flashy returns where they can be very aggressive with the return. 14. They both have 13 aces, however, and they both seem to have been clutch when they've needed them, they've come. Oh. That's game of Rublev. Rublev leads three, goal to two. Third set. TFO by two sets to long. I'm looking through Rublev. He's been quarterfinals. This is the sixth time now. He's lost straight sets four of the five, previous five. Mm. He has played five tie breaks in those matches, including today. He's and? won zero of them including a fifth set tiebreak. The one time he did win sets was in the quarterfinal this year, Roland Garros and lost in Chile. Yes, in his defense, the other four other than Chilich were Medvedev twice, Nadal in 
Tsitsipas. That's what happens when you get to the quarters. Yes. Thirty fifteen. That's a frustrating loss for Rulo. He's looking at the court as if maybe the ball skidded, but it's frustrating because it looked like he was just trying to stay in a rally with a cross-court backhand. That was conservative for him. Two sets for the American. Three games from his first ever Grand Slam semi. Got to be a break of serve here sometime in the next few minutes, doesn't there? I mean, it just <laughs> seems so strange with these two. Through two and a half sets, there's only been five break point chances for these two. Tiafos had three, Rublev two. to hit around him? He doesn't, and he doesn't really seemingly build points, Rublev. Does he think he's blowing it? <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Oh. Day 427 of the Open. <laughs> <laughs> a, little, a little slap happy, but sometimes it seems like that's what's happening with Rublev. He's getting home and happy. Desperate with some of these shots. Yeah, he's owning this. There are a lot of interesting little nuances that play into Tiafo having success here. One of them is that Rublev don't remember him sort of ever hitting a lob. He just hits passing shots. So Tiafo knows he can crash the net, get close, and just get his racket on it. Helping him have that type of record when he gets up to the net. Oh. This is where Tiafo's had a couple of nervy moments.
Every once in a while, I'd, I'd like to see the slice a little bit more from Tiapo's backhand. He hits a nice backhand, but I'd like to see the slice, especially if he's pulled out. And that time he was pulled out, and he just hit a nice, solid backhand down the middle, and it set up beautifully for Rublev to roast the forehand you saw. Ooh, I don't know what happened there. I've never, almost never seen Rublev off balance like that on a ball that slow. for four and all it is Tiapo for the match. Oh boy, look at Rublev. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Players are ready. Thank you. Two more holds of serve. That's what he needs. Eight more points. Seven. Fourteenth ace. Clocks in at 135 miles an hour. Good serve, the right idea. Had to recognize when I get the approach in, I win the point. Make sure you put that approach in. I think Rublev come up with a backhand pass. One thirty-six out wide. First break point of the set for Rublev. He's only had two before this. And he hasn't done it yet. Was that serve, Jimmy? That was the usual 70, lucky sevens. But this is a spot in the court where Rublev isn't accustomed to being. He likes to be further back, but he's made that adjustment in this set, trying to attack second serves. 
Maybe the race. Race. And maybe at that yeah. point, with your opponent having missed three sort of shots, you might not think attack. You might think, let's see if he can handle it by me just putting the return in. Tiafos handled that pace from Rublev in the ground strikes really well all match, but it's amazing how if you're a little more nervous than normal, suddenly the pace seems faster. He hasn't handled redirecting those big shots as well this game. First It's funny when you have an entire crowd that's cheering for you and they suddenly go quiet because you've missed a few and everyone's feeling the tension here. That might even add to the tension. This is a, such an important first serve for Tiafo. shot of the match and he does it again under pressure yes. <laughs> he had struggled this entire game rallying and that point 15 shots and then beautiful touch under duress the only thing I could say to Rublev is why did you hit 14 of those 15 to his backhand he missed three forehands First body serve in the deuce court, all match from Tiafo. Actually, Kribalev did a good job fighting it off. Man, his hardest serve in the match has been 137. He's hit two 138s in this game. They didn't count because the first one was long and the second one was a let. Tiafo is. Pumped up. He secures him the game. This 24 year old, Francis Tiafo, you see the JTCC caps. That's where he learned how to play. That's where his father was the maintenance man at the club where he fell in love with tennis, the Junior Tennis Champions Center. One game away for the kid who's mother worked double shifts as a nurse. Thank you. Whose coaches paid for his entry fees in tournaments. He strung his rackets for free. Who gave him clothing and shoes. 
He liked the fact that Francis Tiafo, through everything, never stopped smiling. This is. Fifteen. Two points from the semis. A world away from where he started. Force Francis Tiapo to serve this out. Let's see if he can do it. Tiapo serving for semi-final spot, first time in his career that far in a major at his home major hasn't been broken today. Serve from this in semifinals. Please. Let's. First serve.
awesome to see. And so many different levels for Tiafo is he had the huge win to get to the quarterfinals, beating Nadal, as you see Rublev off the court in a hurry, and you have to feel for him losing for the sixth time in the quarterfinals. James Blake will speak with him again.